Hi again, everybody. Welcome back. This is our last problem on homework 10.3, and um, it is on conservation of momentum. Now, looking at this initially, it may seem a little bit scary because we're talking about um, uh, atomic nuclei uh, and alpha particles and things like that. Well, these are just objects that have mass, regardless of what they're, they're called. So don't be uh, concerned about the topic itself. It's going to be the same principle as before, as we've been doing in all these problems, and that is the idea that the net momentum initial equals the net momentum final of the whole system. Okay? So maybe it would be helpful if I, if I drew this out. Okay? So we have an atomic nucleus. <clears throat> um, all right, so uh, sometimes atoms can be stripped of their uh, electrons and just be nuclei uh, floating around um, or zooming around. I'm going to draw it, uh, I'm going to draw it over here, okay? So it's moving this way, and, it, and inside of it, it has an alpha particle, and an alpha particle is, well, we're just going to think of it as a smaller particle, all right? So it's in there, and that whole system is moving uh, at 420 meters per second. So initial velocity of a system equals 420 meters per second. Uh, you know what, real quickly, I need to, uh, to pause just for a second. One thing I wanted to point out in this problem is that the, there's a typo in the correct answer. This correct answer right here shouldn't be 4305. It should be 4235 meters per second. So um, just wanted to point out about that before I went any further. Okay. So this particle is... Um, part of the atomic nucleus, but at some point this um, atomic nucleus kicks out this particle, all right, so the, the nucleus changes and the particle uh, has a velocity as well, all right, so the final, let's see, um, the, new, the, the new nucleus, all right, without the alpha particle right here, slows down to 350 meters per second, all right, so um, the final, we'll say, nucleus equals 350 meters per second. And what we want to find out is the final velocity of um, alpha actually looks like a little fish, sort of like that. Um, it's a Greek letter A. It looks like an A with little things hanging off of it. So that's what we want to find out. That's what alpha actually is. At the final velocity of alpha. That's what we want to solve for. Okay? Um, I'm sorry, do I have uh, do I have that right? Yes. What does speed does the alpha particle have? Okay, I'm reading this correctly. What speed does the alpha particle have when it is emitted? That's what we want to find out. All right, well, we do have some masses for these things. The mass of, let's see, N, the nucleus, okay, um, is... 222 U. Well, again, don't worry about what U is. U is just a um, just a unit uh, for mass on the atomic level, uh, but you're not going to need to worry about that because I believe it'll go away. And the mass of the alpha particle, that's that little funny looking A thing right there, is 4, or 4.0 U. Okay, these are all the things that we know. Um, now, again, the problem uh, even says you don't need to worry about converting to kilograms for this. Um, again, because I think we uh, are going to find that that U is going to cancel out. But like we've been saying all along, that the net momentum of the system initial equals net momentum of the system final. Okay? So we need to expand that out. So that's going to be the... Um, momentum of the nucleus plus the momentum of the alpha particle initial equals momentum of the nucleus final plus the momentum of the alpha particle final. Okay? By the way, let's predict just for a second here. If this whole system is moving together, all right, and this nucleus, the big part, kicks out the dark uh, little 
our particle right here. If this is goes shooting forward, what do you th what 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 should happen to the nucleus right here? What should slow down, right? Because um, if you're moving forward and you throw something forward, that throwing forward motion actually slows you down because the the, the force between your hand and the object you're throwing is kind of pushing you backwards a little bit. Okay. So let's finish. Um, let's finish uh, our expanding out our our equations for um, momentum initial and momentum final. Okay. So. Momentum of the nucleus initial, that is going to be, actually, you know what we could do? We could actually combine this right here. Um, the total, I'm sorry, this right here. The total um, mass times the total velocity. Actually, it shouldn't really matter, I think. Um, both of these have the same velocity, right? Have the same velocity right here. This is right about separately, okay? So it's going to be the mass... Uh, the nucleus initial and uh, velocity of nucleus initial. Oops, I put a an, a vector over the mass. That's not right. Vector is only um, velocity, All right? Plus mass of the alpha particle times the initial velocity of the alpha particle equals final. That's not a final. Uh, mass of the nucleus final. Final velo velocity of the nucleus final. My goodness, I'm having problems right here. You guys know it's mv, 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 m, and mv, but we just need to get our subscript straight so we can keep everything straight. Mass of the nucleus final times the velocity of the nucleus final plus mass of the alpha particle final um, times the fi velocity of the alpha particle final. Actually, I made it a little more complicated than I need to. These really didn't have to be final right here because the mass isn't changing. Um, the, the masses are just together here, and now they're separate. So I guess I really didn't need to put in finals for um, those masses. Let me just see if I can just get rid of those guys right there so it looks a little bit less cluttered. That. All right, that. That, that, that. And that. It's not beautiful, but it's a little bit better than it was, okay? This is initial. This is final. MV plus MV equals MV plus MV. All right, we're solving for the final. You know what? This is, uh, these should be finals right here. Those velocities, right? Initial. Oh, good heavens. I made my pen too wide. That's an initial. That is an initial. Uh, that's a final, that's a final. Sorry, just the masses didn't need to be an initial and final because the masses aren't changing right here. They're just separating out. All right, we're solving for what? We're solving for final velocity of the alpha particle. So that's this guy right there. Okay, so we're solving for that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, subtract over mass of the nucleus um, times uh, the... Um, Final velocity of the nucleus, right? So, mass of the nucleus, velocity of the nucleus initial, plus mass of the um, alpha particle times initial velocity of the alpha particle equals, oh, I'm sorry, what did we do? We subtracted over uh, this guy, right? Minus mass of the nucleus times uh, final velocity of the nucleus. And then we're going to have to take this right here. Because this has been subtracted over there already. This is gone. And in order to get final velocity of the alpha particle all by itself, we're going to have to divide by the mass of the alpha particle. All right? Mass of the alpha particle. Okay? All right, and that all equals the final velocity of the alpha particle. Um, all right. Now, remember how I said that the unit for mass, this u right here, uh, doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, we're not going to need to convert it to kilograms. 
But let's just pretend for a second that we knew that conversion. Let's just say there is a thousand of these U's in a kilogram. It's probably more than that, but let's pretend there's a thousand of these in here. All right, if we were to convert to kilograms, that means that this mass, which is U, and this mass, and this mass, which is U, all would need to be multiplied by a thousand, as would this mass right here in the denominator, which would have to be which is u, which has to be multiplied by a thousand as well. What that means is that you're doing the same thing to the numerator and the denominator, so you're not actually changing any of the values. All right. Um, so that's why we don't need to convert to kilograms. We can just use the values as they are. All right. But we do need to put our values in. So what do we have? Mass of the nucleus. Um, that is 222. Times initial velocity of the nucleus. That is, uh, it's the initial velocity of the whole system right there, right? That's 420 meters per second. Plus, mass of the alpha particle, 4.0 of those U's, right? Times initial velocity of the alpha, also 420 meters per second. Minus mass of the nucleus, 222 U times final velocity of the nucleus, that is 350, right? 350 meters per second, all divided by the mass of the alpha particle, which is 4.0 uh, u, all right? But again, that we don't need to worry about that u because um, the proportions are all the same. We don't need to convert it actually to kilograms, all right? So 222 times 420, plus 4 times 420 minus the quantity. And here's where you might want to be careful with your parentheses. 222 times 350. The, the quantity, 222 times 350, uh, divided by that whole thing, divided by 4 U's. All right. And I get an answer of... 4,305 meters per second. Now, wait a minute here. I must have given you some bad information because that's the original right answer as it is right there, right? I don't know why I had you change that. Maybe a different version of that uh, had it at 4,235. Sorry about that. Well, you can see the right answer, 4305 is right there. And that's what I get from doing these values right here. So who knows, maybe before I, I keyed in a wrong answer and got something slightly different, um, it looks like the correct answer is, in fact, 4305, which is what you had on your sheet, okay? So thanks for following along with that. We're, that was still conservation of momentum. MV initial equals MV final for all the parts. And if you have any questions, make sure you come see me. In the meantime, thanks for following along. I'll see you on the next one.